Well, minutes after Truro go down 2-1 uh, here against Hamel Hampstead Town, manager Lee Robinson with me. Um, I thought you were going to do something today. You got back into the game, start the second half, uh, but it all went wrong in the end. Well, same old story at home that we played really well, missed quite a lot of chances, and I think everyone here would probably come away from it thinking how Truro lost that game and they perhaps deserve so much more. But you know, soft goals, concentration have again cost us. And if you look at the again balance of play, balance of chances, balance of sort of balls in the box and moments in the box, we were a million miles ahead. But you know. Other end, Hemel had a couple of chances, scored two goals through through sloppy defending. And at the minute, for, for as much as we look lively going forward, we're an incredible soft touch at the back, making individual mistakes, and that's what's costing us games. And uh, that, that's that's what's led to uh, a lot of frustration today. You came into the match with a few new faces, uh, but nine minutes into the match, and as you said, you're, you conceded a goal. Yeah, again, bad defending. You know, give, giving someone a lot of space in the box to not only turn but also then get a shot away. And you know, in non-league football, you you cannot defend your box that badly. Um, so, um, but actually, in, ter in terms of the new faces and, and the overall performance today, we can't be that unhappy, to be honest with you, because in terms of the football that we played and, and certainly the fitness and freshness looked a, a lot, lot better. But unfortunately, come five o'clock, none of that matters if you make mistakes that cost goals, and that's what's happened today. Because one of those new players, uh, Dan Rooney, did well getting you back into the game three minutes into the second half. And uh, from then on, really, it looked as if it was a matter of you know when the second one was going to come for true. Exactly right. At that point, only for most of the second half, only one winner. Um, uh, but then, you know, as, as we're trying to push forward, you know, desperately trying to get a winner, counter-attack, corner, didn't mark our man from the corner, balls in the net, and everyone's feeling sorry, uh, sorry for themselves again. And that's unfortunately our story at the minute, and it's incredibly frustrating. It's been a suggestion that Truro have been a bit soft, conceding goals from dead ball situations. I mean, but it's pretty basic at the end of the day. What can you do about it to get that drilled into the players' minds that they've got to do better? Well, do you know what? That, that, that was something that was put to me before my first game, uh, actually at Gloucester, before, you know, obviously before we'd even taken over. And I did, did say to the players before the game that we will never or we shouldn't ever have to be training defending set pieces for the simple reason is that all it comes down to is do you want to win it more than the more than the guy you're marking and simple fact at the minute is we don't we don't it doesn't mean enough for us to win the ball ahead of the person we're marking and that's that's what leads to that's what leads to set piece goals against as again happened today and and let's talk about the, the new faces before we try and sum up the last few minutes of the match but um Dan Rooney, uh, John Bentley, River Allen returning, uh, they all put in, put in a good show today, I thought. Yeah, all very good and add, added to the, the uh, fitness and the dynamism um, and uh, all three really good on the ball as well. You know, Jordan certainly was putting a very mature performance for a young lad um, at this level playing at the back. So, um, yeah, very, very happy with all three. Um, you know, certainly those three can feel unlucky to be on the, on the losing side today because they, they literally couldn't have done any more in terms of on the ball and their work rate. Um, but elsewhere today it didn't happen that's why we got no points and people will look at the papers tomorrow and, and the reports today and see Truro City get two red cards um, it wasn't a dirty game though was it no it wasn't no um, and um, I, I would I would say a lot of the re uh, uh, refereeing today was uh, questionable from you know both in the man in the middle and from the well, the, the guy on one touch line down here, don't know about the about the other side, and you know we, we certainly felt aggrieved that a lot that went on today, but uh, you know a lot of that was down to frustration as well. You know when, when when the game goes like it does, and then, and then decisions are going against you, you, you do get frustrated. We certainly felt with Noah's red card, which he, he didn't have any. Um, there's nothing he could do. The guy was clean for on goal, but we sort of felt that, you know, the bloke was standing in our half, completely on his own offside when the ball was played forward to him, and then went back into their half to get the ball. But no offside flag was forthcoming, so uh, that unfortunately led to Noah's red card and myself and Michael getting very, very frustrated, which you have to apologise for. But then again, everyone's got a breaking point, I and mean, when stuff like that so blatant goes against you, it's kind of hard to keep your emotions yeah. in check sometimes. So I, I hadn't actually mentioned that you and Michael got sent off as well, but uh... well, we were part of the red cards, but yeah, <laughs> you were shown the. Well, shown the, or told to get out of the dugout, but um, but was that just because you're so sort of I don't know frustrated with the way that the game had gone before that, or yeah, completely, yeah, complete frustration. You know, it gets a better of us all at some point, and you know, certainly did uh, today. Uh, you know, can only obviously only um, only apologise for that, but um, yeah, we, we just sort of felt that you know going down to going down to two one, which we didn't feel we deserved, and conceding such a bad goal, and then, and then a couple of red cards against. Um, yeah, just frustration got the better of us, to be honest. And what can you do? No, 
where did you go from here? I mean, it's back to the drawing board. You've got a, another Saturday free, I think, next uh, next weekend. Uh, so you, you've got a bit of a break again. Uh, what do you do? Do you go out looking for more players, or do you work on on things with the players you've got now, or what happens? Uh, well, we'll certainly work hard in the next two weeks. You know, we obviously continue to work on the fitness and um, and try and get things right defensively. But I, th I think you know, we'd, what we sort of said before the game today was that. It's, 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 so, it's so far from doom and gloom because we, cause, cause we're showing glimpses and an awful lot of good stuff. Um, but the fact is, we're not, we're not doing a good enough job at keeping the ball out of our goal. It looks like it doesn't mean enough, you know, to keep the ball out of our goal uh, at the minute. Because if you look at the goals that we conceded over, over our time at the club, none of them are to do with the shape. None of them are really to do with the tactics. It's just pure desire to keep the ball out of the goal, mm. uh, and that's what we've got to look to improve in the next couple of weeks. Either in the players' mentality, they've got to pick themselves up with that and, and understand they've got to defend the box better, or we're going to have to change personnel. Um, so we'll have to have a look at that in the next couple of weeks. And training this week, uh, what's the emphasis going to be on at training this week? Well, it's going to be difficult. I mean, clearly we need to keep the you know spirits up a little bit because um, you know that's a, a real demoralising one today, especially as we especially as we played so well. But um, I think we need to make sure in, in these next two weeks we do work hard um, because you know essentially we. I'm sure we're due a change of luck at some point. Um, sooner or later, you know, the goals are going to go in like they didn't today with, you know, disallowed goals that we had today and clearances off the line. At some point, that's got to turn. So we'll just make sure that, you know, on every aspect of our game, we'll work hard in the next two weeks and hopefully we'll change that luck around at some point. One final question. You mentioned the disallowed goals. I mean, two, twice the ball got into Hamilton's net. Uh, first one, I, yeah. I thought initially it might have been offside. I don't know, the ref... Uh, the, the assistant had his flag up pretty quickly. Well, yeah, this, this is what we were annoyed about because he, he had his flag up literally as soon as the ball was kicked. Didn't let the didn't let the play develop, and it, actually it was an own goal. Their lads flicked mm. it into his own net. So, which of our lads were were um, uh, interfering with play? I do not know because if their lads flicked it into his own net, surely that can't be can't be down to any of our lads. And, and if his flag went up after the ball had gone in the net, you might say fair enough. But his flag was up just literally as we as we as we as we put the free kick in. So we felt certainly a little bit of grief by that. And then of course the keepers chucked one in the net as well, which no one's appealed for, and the referee's given him a free kick. So all of that today added to you know the the you know uh, missed a few chances, bad goals conceded, highly frustrating day. When it's not going for you, Lee, it's not going for you. Exactly right. Exactly right. But 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 a certain amount of that we can help ourselves, um, which at the minute we're not, and um, we need to change that and quick. And quick. We wish you the best of luck uh, next time we meet. Okay, cheers.